fuel line disconnected. Pulled a bunch of gas everywhere. Got the new one, which is actually a braided fuel line instead of a hard line with the soft line in the middle. Hooked up to the filter. From what I'm noticing so far is uh, it's disconnected up here, right there. That whole fuel line was unsecured. So every time you hit a bump, it's just bouncing around, hitting stuff. So I'm kind of thinking that's the cause to the leak. I haven't pulled it out yet to have an actual look, but my guess would be unsecured fuel line bouncing around for who knows how long. It's eventually going to rub through somewhere. So now we just got to finish running this one up to the throttle body, get the old one yanked out. And uh, I'm going to use, because this is actually from like an 88 to 89 truck in this body style. They swapped them out for hardline, but they actually had like a, it looks like a slide that goes up that these run on. This obviously does not have that. So I'm going to use zip ties to secure the line. And uh, that should be good. All right, so the old fuel line's out. This was uh, just rubbing around on stuff. The clamp is still here, but uh, whoever replaced the transmission didn't hook that back up to the bell housing. So literally every bump, this thing would just rub on shit. So it's all hooked up. The key is on. So the fuel. The fuel system is pressurized. And I'm just watching and looking for leaks. I don't see anything up here leaking. That wet spot that you see at the connection was already wet before I hooked it up, so it's not actually weeping out there because that was hanging down on the floor. And it kind of, uh, yeah, it was basically just siphoning gas out onto the floor. <laughs> so that's why that's wet. Looks looking good up here. Alrighty. I haven't secured it. It's just kind of uh, chilling. This is all looking good so far. I'm gonna place it all the way down here to the fuel filter. This is all looking good. So now I have to go pick up some zip ties and I'm going to zip tie this thing all over the place so it's not rubbing on stuff like that right there or you know anything of the sort that can damage the braided line over time. Just like that the old girl is fixed. Maybe took her out gave her a bath. Looking good. The only thing I hate about giving this thing a fucking car wash is it really shows off all the scratches and stuff in the paint, which will probably buff out, but I'm kind of lazy, so I won't buff it. <laughs> yeah, it's not perfect. Fuck it, looks good enough. I do want a new tailgate. This is terrible. And bumpers. I mentioned that before. But Oh well, it is what it is. But that's that. Sink's fixed, running great, no more fuel leaks. I have no complaints.